Hello, my name is Nimrod Oren from the Montier development team. This is the installation, the first installation video for the Montier all-in-one appliance. Uh, it's a very simple process. We're just going to set up the VM. It takes a few minutes. Uh, so let's get started. In the virtual machine screen, cre uh, click create a new virtual machine. Now select typical installation and next. Next step is to select a name for your virtual machine and click next. Select a data storage. This is for the operating system of the virtual machine. Operating system is Linux, CentOS 64 bits. Click next. Network, just select uh, one adapter and select the network adapter that you want. It's just one network. Click next. Uh, minimum requirements are 20 gigabytes of free space for the OS uh, hard drive. And select thick provision eager zone. Click next. Now select at the bottom of the screen, you see a checkbox of edit the virtual machine settings. So select that and click continue. And this screen will define CPUs, uh, hard drives, uh, memory for the virtual machine. So let's start with memory. Click memory and the minimum requirements are 20 gigabytes. Select CPU, two cores and two uh, virtual sockets and two cores on each. Next we'll remove the floppy. So select that and remove the floppy drives from the VM. Now we're going to define uh, two additional hard drives. One is for the monitor installation and the other is for the data files. So click add, select hard drive, next, create a new virtual disk, next. And this, is, this one is going to be for the Montier installation files and it's 25 gigabytes. Again, thick revision eager zeroed, specify data, data store and select your data store, next. Select independent mode and persistent. Next, and finish. And the last hard drive is for the data files. So select hard disk. Next, create a new virtual disk. The minimum here is 200 gigabytes, ego zeroed. And now when you specify data store, this has to be for uh, performance reasons. This has to be the fastest data store you have on your system. That's our recommendations anyway. Select your data store. Click OK. Next, select independent, persistent, next and finish. Um, now we have to just select the ISO for the monitor installation. So click the DVD, select data store ISO file, browse, select the ISO file you've downloaded from the site. And the last step is just to reserve the uh, resources with the, we've defined for the VM. So click the tab above of resources, select CPU, drag it all the way to the right, select memory, again, all the way to the right. We're going to define high shares for all the three disks we defined earlier. Uh, high and high. Okay, and basically those are the installation, the setup steps for the virtual machine. Now you might have gotten other recommendations from the Montier team. Uh, what we've shown on, on this video is just the minimum requirements required to run the Montier appliance. So if you've got different instructions, you should use those. And the next step is to install the Montier product, which we will cover in the next video. Uh, to create the VM, you just click finish and the virtual machine is created. Uh, thank you, we'll see you in the next video. Hello again, this is Nimrod Oren from the Montier development team. This is the second part of our video series of installing the Montier all one product. Uh, the previous video was about setting up the virtual machine. This video is going to show how to install the operating system and the Montier product itself. So the first thing you have to do, 
is you have to make sure that the virtual machine loads up from the Montier ESO file. So going to the DVD, make sure connected power on is selected and select the ESO file which you got when you downloaded the, from the Montier website. Power up the virtual machine. And select the first option, install Montier. Now the system, the bootstrap process is starting. And the next step you'll see shortly is that the LVM is going to be configured. And now, and now the operating system packages are starting to install. This step is about the logical uh, volume manager. It takes a little while. And now the installation process of the operating system itself, the, the packages, the installation packages are starting. This step should take, depending on the strength of a machine, takes about five to 10 minutes and we'll continue with the, with the installation after this step is complete. Now that the operating system packages has fin have finished installing, you'll get a configuration screen for some properties of the operating system. Uh, first is network configuration. So we enter the host name, the IP address of the virtual machine, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. You can get these details from your system administrator if you don't know them. Next is primary and secondary DNS server. And confirm the network setup. Next step is the NTP, the network time protocol configuration. Uh, it's recommended to configure at least three NTP servers, which is what we're going to do now. We're going, just for the sake of the demo, to use the Google Time servers. And when you're done, you just uh, enter on an empty line and confirm the NTP. Next, you configure the time zone. So here we're going to select Asia and Israel and confirm it. And the last step is to enter the date and time. Now we should mention that after the system will reboot, it will um, connect with the NTP server and correct the time if it's not exactly accurate. And enter to continue. Now you select the Montier administrative user password. And next you select the root user password, meaning the root for the entire operating system. For the sake of the demo, we're going to use a very simple password. And now the system will reboot and we'll continue with the installation after the system has restarted. Now the operating system 
has finished installing and restarting. So you have to log in through an SSH uh, terminal and we'll install the Monty product. First thing you do is you run the Monster installation script. Read the uh, license agreement. You can agree to it. And now um, the property files here determine the uh, resource allocation usage, such as memory, hard disk allocation, etc. Uh, you will receive instructions in the instruction manual on the Monty website as to which uh, property file you need to choose. For the sake of this demo, we're going to choose the third option. Confirm it. Now Monty inst is installing the product packages on the operating system. This usually takes, uh, it depends on the strength of the computer, but it might take a few minutes. At this stage, you'll see that uh, Montier has installed the basic packages and is now restarting. And you can see that the processes of Montier are all running. Now, at this point, you have to verify that the installation is successful. You can see it on this line. If there is any problem, you will see a message uh, saying that Montier environment uh, failed, the installation failed. And you can look at the logs. And the log files are here. And under install logs, you can just look for uh, grep for all the strings and containing ERR or something similar. Uh, but here you see the installation is successful. So now what you need to do to continue the installation, you have to refresh the environment variable, which the installation changed. So we're, we're just going to log in again as root to refresh it. Uh, next, we're going to check, verify that all the Montier processes are up. We have a script for this, Montier Util. Run that and select the third option, check status. And you'll get a screen which refreshes every few seconds, as you can see here. You can see the last refresh time. And just make sure everything is running. If you feel everything is running, you can exit it by pressing Ctrl C and selecting 13. Now we saw that the, the agent is up, the Montier product is up. And we'll just do one last verification by seeing if the web GUI has gone up as well. So just go into it, you type in the virtual machine IP slash Montier and see that it's gone up. You can log in. Of course, you'll get the, the user and the password you'll get when you get the demo from us or the installation files, then you'll get, you'll get the password. Okay, as an, and as you can see, System is up and running, the GUI is up and running, and everything looks good. Uh, in the next video, we'll uh, see the post-installation steps which are required.